The move of a Corvette from front to mid-engine, you could call it a risk, but for us uh, inside of Design Center, it was something that's always been beneath the surface. And it's something that just never quite made it out of the gate. And since I've worked at GM, there were mid-engine Corvettes around. For the past 60 years, uh, since Zora Arcus Duntoff was trying to make a mid-engine Corvette, there were many, many iterations. And we've always researched and experimented and developed concepts around mid-engine proportion. So it's almost like no wine before it's time because it has been tried for years. It'd probably be like in a 2011-ish time frame where we started uh, talking about the mid-engine again. We started having meetings as to what we would do with the package, uh, what would we need for content, and that's we started scripting uh, what we would like to, the mid-engine car to do at that time. As a designer, you don't often get to work on something that's new essentially from ground up. And this car is new from ground up. We had three full-size models, clay models, uh, with a different theme on each side. We probably had at least 12 scale models. You know, a scale model we would develop uh, for two weeks and decide, you know, was there merit to the design? If it didn't have merit, then we would just drop that scale. So we were constantly, you know, churning and uh, reworking scales as we were looking for for a lot of themes in that. By moving to the mid-engine layout, what that enabled as far as from a performance figures, as far as interior layout and visibility, going from the, the C7 Corvette to the C8, the seventh generation Corvette had kind of that arc of driver controls in front of you. And now we were taking it and literally kind of turning it on its side and making it really this three-dimensional thing that you were sitting in. The difference of how extreme, how, how much lower the IP is, how much richer all the materials are, how much uh, more sculptural and three-dimensional the interior space is. I think that's going to be a really uh, big takeaway and something that a lot of people aren't going to be expecting when they get inside of it. If you jump from a current Corvette C7 to the C8, the experience that the customer is going to get, when you start Adding that all together, it's hard to, to look at a, going to a mid-engine configuration as a risk. Um, it's going to take all those things that the front-engine car did and just take them to the next level.